you're disconnected from happiness, all that's left is fear. All that's left is sadness. That's that's why humor will increase your emotional intelligence. I'm working on a course now for elementary school students to help them because remember, it's emotional intelligence. I can choose. This is something I say all the time. We can't control what happens to us, but we certainly 100% can control how we feel about it. It stimulates both hemispheres of the brain, encourages clarity. Think about bad times, you know, that's what we're all looking for, clarity and better problem solving ability. Also, all the things that we know. The great thing is I'm not teaching coding or physics here. Everything I'm teaching you intuitively, every person out there knows, releases endorphins, everything we know, we feel better. Nobody ever went to bed ever thinking, you know what? I think I laughed too much today. That just doesn't happen. You know, releases endorphins, releases stress, helps relieve pain, amazing. Lowers blood pressure, blood flow, boosts the immune system, lowers blood sugar, fights anxiety, cardiovascular health, all these things. You better find a way to engage that employee and humor checks every box and then some, uh, because retention is gonna be such a big a deal because if a human being has to do that job, you better find a way to keep them. But you give comedians way too much credit. All we know how to do is do the job, you know? But the real fuel for humor lives inside of all of you. We're all we're going for to be our most genuine selves and, and humor, you can't have, you can't be inauthentic, you know? I mean, it, it, comedy is about exaggeration, so it doesn't even, eventually have to be in the truth, but its basis better be. Most people write words to be read versus said, and that's the other disconnect, is that they write in the paragraph form. <laughs> that doesn't, when you say it, I mean, it, it, you, there's no way people say you can't teach timing. I go, not if it's written in the paragraph form. How would I know the separation? How would I know how the, where the funny even lives? So, you know, what do I know about this person? And really, the fact that we're all in this crazy world, it, 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 even whether, you don't have to pick a side. We have to live in this crazy world where we're so divided. So what we have in common is the playing field, is the landscape. And then looking to pick something there. But you can always, I always tell my students, to make a choice and then walk it back if you have to. But don't let that choice come out of your head first.